Howdy, it's Jubal Kane again, and this is Shop Tips number 304 and a half, and actually it's a follow-up uh, to number 304, which was a video about removing rust by vinegar, and uh, this is what I de-rusted, this little cast iron table, and I noted, and I think several other people noted in that video, that uh, the vinegar, which is an acid, attacked the cast iron, that is the base metal, as well as the the rust, and there's some pitting here, although they're very fine pits. So in order to determine whether or not this is true, and I think it is, what I've done here is I've taken a pan of vinegar, just common white vinegar, and uh, that was a month ago, on May 18th, that I put several pieces in here. There's a piece of cast iron and several pieces of steel, and I forgot what they all were, because that's a whole month ago. Today's uh, June 22nd, 2016, so let's take a look at what happened, and I'm trying to determine, again, if, uh, if there is pitting in the, the base metal. So that's quite a mess, isn't it? It looks something like what uh, uh, the, the process of uh, electrolysis, but it's not electrolysis. This was all strictly um, sitting here in vinegar. So look at, this is actually kind of scaly. And that's, wow, rather thick mess. Smells kind of good, just smells like vinegar, and when I peel this back, okay, I'm going to scrape all of that off, and I'm just going to reach in here and uh, pick the pieces out. I forgot how many are in there, and lay them on a and an old towel here and see what we got. Alrighty, what do we have in here? All right, now I remember that's a that's a cast iron pulley. Just a piece of steel. I'll wash these all off here in a minute. That I forgot what that is. I wish I'd take a picture of this. Oh, I put some pipe fit, pipe fittings in there. Here is a, oh, that's that, one of those crescent wrenches that I had in a video. Another pipe fitting, but not galvanized ones, black fittings. I guess that's it. Let me wash up and rinse these off. Okay, it's ten minutes later, and what I did is I scrubbed the heck out of all these parts with, uh, hot water and uh, my fingernail brush and this is very inconclusive as to what happened here but uh, the question is what is all of this material here because there, these pieces were not very rusty this was just old pieces of metal I had around the house I wasn't trying to remove rust I was trying to uh, to see if the vinegar which is acid attacked the metal so let's take a look at the old uh, Williams wrench here. And it feels rough, very, very rough, almost like fine sandpaper, especially down in here. And that would have been a polished surface. And, and I know you're not going to be able to see any pitting, but the, uh, the base metal here, this, this metal was definitely attacked. Uh, the, and the neural nut obviously was made of some other metal than... Uh, than what the body of the wrench is, because it's a it's rather bright in appearance. It's just a rough feel to it, and very rough here. And you know that these wrenches were smooth in this area, so it definitely uh, took some metal off of the wrench. Now on this pulley, this is cast iron, and that's why I put it in there and there was no rust on it, and by the way, I see a, a jade, that was a John Deere part, whatever it was. And since it's a rather rough casting to start with, I don't see that it did much to it. 
I'm trying to look into the machined area here now. And, I, and whatever came off, they, my hands were just as black as could be. There was some kind of chemical going on here. Notice how uh, it, it starts rusting right away. And this was malleable iron, as far as I understand. It, too, feels rough. Right around here, it actually feels like coarse sandpaper. And these fittings are relatively smooth to start with, as you know. And again, this was not galvanized. That was half-inch black tea used for gas, gas line. I can't tell anything from this part, and I do believe that there was oil on here. And we know that we can't have oil, grease, or paint, and you can see where there was some paint on the pulley, too. And it, uh, it didn't take the paint off, or, in fact, the paint protected the base metal. Again, this feels so rough. I wish I would have taken a picture. I think I did take a picture of this. Uh, still, still pictures, but uh, I lost them. I don't know where they're at. And uh, these were just pieces of cold rolled steel. And it feels rough. And I don't know why the funny finish, maybe there was some oil on it. I did not clean it. And this was just sheet metal. It feels like uh, 180 grit sandpaper. So the conclusion, although totally unscientific here, is that if you're removing rust with vinegar, just leave it in there about a day or so, and you certainly don't want to put it in there and forget about it, which I kind of did with this, but I wanted it to be in there long enough to see what would happen. And it would have been interesting if I had miked this to start with and see if it's reduced in, uh, in dimensions at all. But uh, since, we, since we have an acid, acid and we got uh, steel and cast iron and malleable iron here, we know that it has uh, taken its toll on the metal. So be careful. You know, this is such a mild acid, we can drink it. We use it on our salads, but our stomachs are full of acid as well. That'd be a good one. Take, get some stomach acid from a, a dead raccoon and, and see what it'll do. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. It took a month to make. Now, in a future video, you have already seen these wrenches shown in one of my what is it videos, so I'm not going to tell you what they are, even though that's in the other. But the reason I bought these two uh, originally was not for the what is it series, but so that I can remove rust on one with uh, electrolysis and on the other with uh, vinegar. And I intend to do that uh, in uh, one day. Uh, and then take a look at it, see what happens, and then two days, just to see which is more effective uh, or a better solution for you people there. Now, there are a lot of people that don't want to do uh, the electrolysis because, well, just because it involves electricity and, and some people are worried about uh, the hydrogen gas and other people tell me don't worry about it because it's such a lightweight gas, it immediately goes up into the air and it isn't a problem. So. And half of what I'm breathing right now is, uh, well, not half, but there's an awful lot of hydrogen in the air. So watch for this video. And you know what? Several people got very mad at me for promoting my videos or linking them. Let's uh, call it quits on this, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And watch the next video. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.